I wonder about so many things. I wonder about the aging process of our old good friend planet. I ask myself if perhaps it's just getting old and finally will die. But then I remind myself the great capacity of the Earth to regenerate itself. Creation is such a wide concern, which includes everything, smaller and bigger living entities. Everything works at the unison somehow. And us, as a human species, have not yet fully unfolded as a species. We are not like other animals. We are the most dangerous species on Earth, but also the bigger hope for it. I believe we need to just unfold completely before we can learn how to live. Art is for me, in fact, a connector between borders and lands. In an interview in Iran I had for Honar magazine, we talked about the capacity art has to raise awareness and become a connector between people and consciousness. I decided to create an ice cube which contains wisdom, but that unfortunately melts away like icebergs in the poles, which highlights an emergency. Wisdom melting away. That's dangerous. So many warnings have been already given by scientists, by the weather, by the natural catastrophes happening all over. I am carrying, in fact, an iceberg over my head, containing uh, the tears of a flower, which in this case is usually representing the culture of Iran, which has been heavily threatened. And that's not just the case. I thought about how, as human species, we tend to separate ourselves from the rest, and we built a society where we isolated from the rest of nature, thinking we live independently from it. We are one with, with it all. It's so incredible. When I look at things just a tiny bit closer, I realize that microorganisms, insects, and other living species are essential for the Earth and for us too. Imagine you are digging a hole in the ground with your bare hands. There is so much going on there. Not only soil, but a huge variety of species, all working hard to keep things going. It makes me laugh when I see that we think that soil should be solely soil. And that's it. There is an infinite universe hidden in the soil, as there is in water, as there is in dust, as there is in light, as there is in every layer of whatever is visible or invisible. There is no separation. When I was in Iran, I wanted to see other cities, so I headed to south, east, west, and finally in the city of culture of Iran, Isfahan. I was also motivated to go there as I saw wonderful pictures of Isfahan, of the river with its beautiful Persian bridges. But when I went there, there were only bridges left. But they had no use, as the water was gone. What I have seen in the photographs was gone. I thought, This could be a political strategy to make people weaker. But talking to a bus driver, I asked him what happened to the river. He told me that since three months the water was gone because global warming, and it does disappear very often since decades. But at this particular time in 2017, it was looking rather worrying. The Zayander River died, and the Kaju Bridge was looking like an abandoned ship. The river of life, as they call it, it's slowly dying. So 
I wonder, is the earth also getting old? Are we the numerous bacteria that are destroying it? The saffron ice melted over me with its freezing cold water that made me wake up and hopefully made wake up others. What would you do if there would be no water in your country? Aren't we really taking quick actions towards this alarming problem? Water is life, and when ice melts away, water steams away, and clouds just camp trails. What will we do? The white saffron flower is coming to remind us what really matters.